some shapes never go out of style. When it comes to evolution, the distinct squat figure of a crab has been in fashion for hundreds of millions of years. So effective is their form that even creatures that aren't technically crabs have evolved to be crab-like. Today, we're on location in Delaware Bay to witness the spawning of a total crab impersonator, the Atlantic Horseshoe Crab, Lemulus polyphemus. Crabby body plans make so much evolutionary sense that even today's robots are being created in their image. This is the evolution of the crab. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Paleologic. Today, we're going to talk about some delightfully diversified decapods, crabs. These crustaceans have evolved not once, not twice, but five times into their classic rotund shape over the past 260 million years. Crabs are from the order of crustaceans called decapoda, which literally translates to 10-footed and includes shrimp, lobsters, and crabs. The feet here not only refer to those that they use to scuttle, but also to their chelae, aka their claws or pincers, which are modified feet. Crabs have a long and diverse history. Currently, we have about 9,500 species of living crabs. From the fossil record, we know of about 3,300 extinct species. All in all, this is still just a small fraction of the total number of species of crabs that have ever existed. Fossil evidence of crabs first started appearing in the Jurassic period, but the diversity of these crustaceans really took off in the Cretaceous period, which began 145 million years ago. And the tendency to become like crabs has been booming ever since. A crab-like body has a few shared characteristics across species. First, the hard upper shell, called the carapace, is flattened and widened. Next, it has a broad sternum. Finally, it features a tail, called a pleon, that is folded under and lacks most of its musculature. If you've ever eaten lobster, shrimp, or crayfish, you'll know that the pleon is where the tail meat can be found. Crabs evolved from ancient decapods that had long pleons. One of the oldest decapods we've found is called Paleopalaemon. This lobster-like crustacean lived around 365 million years ago during the late Devonian period. To trace their history, let's start at the beginning, when crabs truly came into style around 260 million years ago when decapods split into two groups, the brachyurans, true crabs, and the anomurans, the false crabs. Brachyurans, which includes spider crabs, fiddler crabs, mud crabs, and swimming crabs, take the prize for most successful decapod crustacean. These true crabs have conquered ecological niches, from freshwater streams, to coral reefs, all the way up to dry land. The earliest of the brachyurans that we found is called Eoprosopon klugai, and it lived during the Lower Jurassic around 185 million years ago. Anomurans, which includes porcelain crabs, king crabs, hermit crabs, and squat lobsters, have evolved similar qualities, but are not actually true crabs. An extinct example of an anomurin is Paralomus debodiorum, which lived during the middle to late Miocene, which spans 16 million to 5.3 million years ago. This false crab, with its nubby carapace, was an ancient member of the king crab family called Lithotidae. The earliest anomurin that we know of is called Platycata akaina. It lived during the late Triassic, around 250 to 200 million years ago. It is a false crab and looked a little bit more like a lobster than a crab. 
the easiest way to tell the difference between a brachyurin and an anomurin is to look at the number of walking legs. True crabs have four sets of walking legs, while false crabs appear to have only three, because the fourth set is shrunken and sometimes even tucked up into their gill chambers. Anomurins also usually have longer antennae, which are positioned to the side of their eyes. Evolving to be more crab-like in appearance isn't just limited to decapods. This advantageous shape has been adapted by plenty of unrelated species, too. Today, we're on location in Delaware Bay to witness the spawning of a total crab impersonator, the Atlantic Horseshoe Crab, Limulus polyphemus. <laughs> Hello, Delaware. Oh no, we've got one who's flipped over. Gotta help him. The word crab in horseshoe crab is actually a complete misnomer, as they're chelicerates, making them more closely related to spiders and scorpions than to true crabs. The oldest horseshoe crab fossil that we've found is called Lunataspis aurora. Beautiful name, right? and it dates all the way back to the Devonian. This was a time before creatures evolved out of the water and onto land, and somehow these creatures have hardly changed since. Ooh, we're getting to see an awesome example of a horseshoe crab trackway. These trackways are extremely distinct, mostly because of the shape of their final pair of limbs, called the pushers. Now, they have such a specific morphology that we can see these trackways in the fossil record and know exactly what kind of animal made them, which is part of why we have such a rich and deep history of the evolution of limulids. Can you tell I'm excited about these things? Because I am. Even if you don't think that these creatures are as charming as I find them, you probably should still thank them. Chances are they've affected your life in more ways than one. All right, you can see the big mama right there. And latching onto her back, onto her shell, is a male. Horseshoe crabs like this one beside me are one of the many species that have undergone carcinization or brachyurization. This is the convergent evolution phenomenon that sees non-crab creatures turn into crab lookalikes. The reason that organisms turn into crab wannabes is still a bit of a mystery. One likely explanation is that it's all about mobility. That classic crabby shape just works for life in and around the water, allowing for things like greater protection from predators and easier movement and feeding. Even humans have taken a page from the crab style guide and have implemented their design into some of today's technological advances. Engineers at Northwestern University use the peaky toe crab as their inspiration for half-millimeter, remote-controlled robots that are able to bend, crawl, walk, turn, and jump. Though crab-like body plans have been all the rage over the past 260 million years, there have been documented cases of crustaceans that were more crab-like evolving to be less so over time. This process is called decarcinization, and it's happened over seven times that we know of. In 2019, an extinct decarcinized species of crab from around 90 million years ago was discovered. Just the size of a quarter, its unique features include paddle-like legs, long body, and exposed tail. Let it to be dubbed Cali Chimera Perplexa, or Perplexing Beautiful Chimera. As we can see from hundreds of millions of years of evolution, the crab-like body plan is as practical as it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya.